By now you'll have found your three voices. I hope you'll have practised in all three of them. And you'll have noticed that between the different registers there is this strange point where you get uh, little yodels. We call them transitions. Some people call them breaks. I don't like that. Um, it's not a break. It's a transition between two parts of your voice. Uh, Italians call them passaggio. Beautiful word. Much nicer than anything we could use. I love the Italian language. Um, so let's talk about passaggio or these places in between your voice. So when you're singing a song and you get one of those little yodels, you've got a couple of choices. One is change the voice you're singing all of that line in. So uh, if you've got a song that does this. No, no. If you sing that in your head voice and your chest voice. No, no. You hear it sounds horrible. Really very nasty. Uh, so either you can make that transition cleaner or sing them in the same voice. So singing them in the same voice, I'll put them both in my head voice because I can't sing my chest voice up there. No, no. Much neater. Um, alternatively, be conscious of where you're moving them. So think to yourself, this is my head voice, this is my chest voice. No, no. Still think that was my head voice. No, no. Little bit easier. The important thing here is knowing about your voice. Your voice is different from my voice. And the more you sing, the more you get used to it. You'll learn to know the bits of your voice where you're going to have trouble and what to do about them. Uh, and that's things we can talk about in lessons. You know, if you're singing a song and you get one of those uh, weird yodel things, let's talk about it. Let's find a way to deal with it. So we can put them in the same voice. We can be conscious of the transition. Um, the other way, thing we can do to get those transitions a little bit easier is to do some exercises around them. Um, my favourite when I'm singing a song with somebody and we've got one of those transitions is to stop and siren between the two notes. No, 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 no. You can hear already it's easier. That's also really good if you've got some strange interval, like maybe this one. So what you're saying to your voice is, I want you to move between these two places. And you're getting used to how those different places feel in your voice. Knowing your voice is really important. Uh, I found two things that have helped me to understand my voice better and they're both a bit random really um one is that when i took my grade eight singing and i had a song to sing uh, flow my tears by john downland beautiful song you should go away and listen to it uh, which starts on this note flow my tears and there was no introduction and we agreed between myself and my accompanist that we would just go straight in um, and she didn't give me the note because that's what you'd normally do. You'd just play a little A and then you'd sing it. But I didn't want that. I didn't want it to spoil the performance. So what I did was got used to how that sits in my voice. And now I can just about pitch an A because I know how it feels. Lord, feel how it feels in my voice. It's quite a comfy note, but it's ever so slightly in the top of it. Top, topper, upper range of my voice. It's not really in the upper range, but I, I can just tell you where it sits. Ah. So now if I'm singing in a choir, I can generally pitch a day, or if I need to pitch something that's around there, I can just about get it because I've got used to how it feels in my voice. The other thing that singing in a choir has done for me, singing as an alto, is that I can generally place the lower version of an A. Because oh, I know how that feels. It sits down here. Oh, it's, it's got a kind of an airiness about it. I can feel how it feels in here. So getting to know your voice, really important part of transitions. If you want some exercises around transitions, well, I'd do sirens. Um, I'd do one of the ones we did last time. That one um, I might do. No, 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 no. Something like that. Just keep moving around the different spaces between your voices because that's really going to help. Uh, if there's something you're working on at the moment that's got some of that in, let me know. We'll talk about it and uh, we'll find a way because using different parts of your voice is so important. But being able to do that neatly, even better.